Hi, Jen. Do you think you can use your computer to pick out some wood duck calls for me? Of course. Scanning sandwich now. According to this, there are two wood ducks calling 100 meters to your right. Great. Thanks, Jen. Okay. Wood ducks, here I come. Wow! It's a wood duck chick. Oh, it seems to be stuck up a tree just like the ones at Safari World. There's Mum calling for her chick. Right, I need to get up there and find out what's going on. Oh, there's Dad. Don't mind me. doing up here? Huh? Wait a minute. Uh, Eggshells? Of course! The ducklings aren't stuck up in the tree. This is their nest. Oh. oh. I'll pop that back. lay her eggs in there, and then the chicks hatch out. In a forest full of alligators and snakes, this is the perfect place to keep your little ones safe. But this little one and his brothers and sisters are big enough to leave the nest now. Oh, there's Mum waiting. But how are they going to get down? Oh, careful, buddy. You're a bit close to the edge. It's a long way. Down. He made it! The ducklings are so light that falling all that way doesn't even hurt them. The rest of the ducklings don't look too sure, though. Maybe they need some encouragement. Come on, you lot. Follow me. Okay, buddy, it's your turn. Ready, steady, go! Yes! Right, now I just need to get back across the river. It'll take me a long time to swim across when I'm this small. Whoa! What was that? Oh, it's a basilisk lizard. Well, we've got these back at Safari World. They're also known as Jesus Christ lizards, because they can run on water. Hmm, I wonder. Um, excuse me. Can I grab a... And so fast that he just bounces across the water. Wow! Whoa! Whoa! Uh, this is my stop! Stop! Thanks, my lizard friend. Look who it is! Oh yes, it's the glass frog. So hopefully there should be some eggs around here somewhere. All I can see is a hungry cricket. Hungry cricket? Uh-oh. That male glass frog is so small, the cricket could eat him. Jump away, buddy. He's looking straight at you. Why isn't he jumping? Hang on a minute. Of course. It's a glass frog, remember? It doesn't need to jump. Their see-through skin is the perfect camouflage. Look, the cricket hasn't even noticed him. Oh, brilliant. Oh, right. 
Now to find those eggs. But to do that, I need to follow that frog. Uh, wait for me! Oh, he's off again. Glass frogs are amazing. They can even hold on upside down using their special sticky feet. Hang on. Yes! It's frog spawn. Ah, oh, brilliant. Look! I found a damselfly. Now I just need to find out where they lay their eggs. Oh, but this guy can't help me. He's male. Ooh. Where's he off to? Another male has come into his territory. Oh, male damselflies don't get on. Calm down, you two. Come on, play nicely. They fight like this to get the attention of a female damselfly. Like her. Hmm. Maybe she can help me. says here on my gizmo that this damselfly is pregnant. So if I stay with her, I'll be able to find out where she lays her eggs. Do you mind if I tag along? This is amazing! Uh-oh! Frogs! We wouldn't want to get too close to those. They love to eat damselflies. What? Uh, no, 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 wait. But I don't fancy doing that again anytime soon. <laughs> What on earth is she doing now? It looks like she's about to head underwater. Well, that's strange. Oh, well, there's only one thing for it. Upload sub -aqua gear. Great, let's go. I've got a mask and an aqua pack to help me. Hmm, let's see. It says here that her wings trap a layer of air, and that's what helps her breathe. Ingenious! Huh? Now what's she doing? This is one of the strangest adventures I've ever had. Oh, I see. She's cut a hole in that stem and laid her eggs. They'll be nice and safe in there until they hatch. Amazing. And still no sign of any pygmy geckos. Oh, hello. <laughs> A pygmy gecko. And it looks like he's doing OK. Oh, that's a relief. Saying that, it is dry. Ah. Spoke too soon. Well, at least I get to find out how he deals with flood water. Huh? Where's he gone? There he is. Whoa! Oh. This place is going to be flooded soon. Oh. Ah. Ah. There you are. How are you coping in all this rain? I'm surprised I've managed to stay this dry. <laughs> Great. Oh, how strange. It looks like the rain's just bouncing off him. Hmm. I wonder if my gizmo can tell me what's going on. Activate scanner. It says here that the gecko's skin is hydrophobic, which means it's waterproof. Oh, how cool is that? 
Whoa. No, not that way, little buddy. You've gone straight into the flood water. Don't worry, I'm coming to rescue you. I'm coming, I'm coming. Huh? He's floating. His skin must be so waterproof and he's so light that he can just stand on the surface of the water. So that's how pygmy geckos survived the floods. I can't wait to tell Jen. Hi, Jen. Andy, the Amazon dome is about to flood. How can we help the pygmy geckos? Don't worry. They can help themselves. But how? They have special waterproof skin which protects them from the rain. And they're so light, they can float on water. So they'll be absolutely fine when the Amazon dome floods. That's great news, Andy. But you better hurry back. Sending the safari mobile to your coordinates. Thanks, Jen. See you later, Piggy Gecko. Thanks for your help. Back to normal size. Let's all go on an enterprising adventure.